How are you going, everybody? This is a section of the garden I've never taken you down. This is down the... Well, I, I can't describe it. It's too hard. You, I've got to map, map it out for you so you can see. Anyway, this is another section. We've got a hedge along here. Lily Pilly's doing really well. I've actually got, got to cut the lower branches here so I can get a little bit more light through it. You can see that we've got the Lamandras growing here and Diades, which are doing not too bad underneath there, but the actual Lily Pillies. Well, they've grown too much underneath and they've got to be thinned out as well and fertilised. See the discoloration that's happening on the leaves? Just picked up on it now with this afternoon sort of uh, light that we have here. So they need a good feed. They dried out on top because we've had some really hard weather going through here. All they need is a good feed and they'll come good and a little bit of a prune underneath. But that's not the topic. Come over here. I'm just enjoying some of these native berries, folks. And this is a lily pilly that's just suck it up from the base because we had one in here. Look at this, I just spotted this now. I was going to talk about something else, we'll get to it in a second. Look at that, that's the stump. That's the old stump that we had here, we cut it out because the tree died. And we've got this suckering up now. That's the main shoot here. So I'm going to come back and cut all these other little shoots off so this can become a big tree again and enjoy the berries. Also, another problem, look at this. Look at the underside there, this is the underside of the leaf. Look at this blistering. That's called psyllid and it's spelled with a P-S-Y-L-L-I-D. It's an insect, and that's the insect underneath there. Once upon a time, we used to spray this using a product that was systemic. It's been banned, and I'm glad it has been banned. So now, all we can really do is use Eco Oil, Eco Neem, make your own chili garlic oil soap, turmeric in a liter of water. Uh, we've said it a million times, check out our previous videos and spray the underside or just cut it off. Trees are very tolerant to this, well, tough, uh, let's, just, well, let's put it that way. Uh, they'll, they'll resist it, but if it gets really bad, prune it off and discard all the leaves. Don't put them in your compost because you won't kill it. So get rid of those, burn them, and the tree will come good again. And over here, folks, this is a little secluded pathway we have from the main drive into the little water feature down there, which I'm not going to show you at the moment, but what I want to show you here is the dioides. This time of the year, lots of plants have gone to seed agapanthers, uh, dioides. Look at these seed pods here. See all these wonderful seed pods? Look at all these gorgeous seeds. Have a look at this. Every single one of these little seed, just like our tomato plants and our vegetables that we have in the garden, because I talk about all the time, I'm talking flowering plants today, these are potentially little plants to grow. And that's what we have here, self-sown dioides growing everywhere. Now, you'll find this in your garden happening everywhere, from dioides to lettuce to silver beet to tomatoes even. Now, some plants may grow early before this season so what you need to do is go outside and monitor that and maybe protect them put a little mini hothouse or a cloche over the top so they can survive through the cold nights because at the moment what we're getting down here in victoria is really serious frosty nights minus two minus three degrees at night and in the morning the sun doesn't peer out until at least about 10 a.m that's how heavy the fog is now you can either plant your own seeds because one seed pod just like this one over here have a look have a look at this little beauty Oh, this is what's happened in the past already. Now these ones haven't fallen out yet. Look how many seeds I've got here. This one plant, one flower, and we get many flowers on these on these plants, at least, you know, well, let's just say dozens of them. So with every plant, there's at least 40 or 50 seeds in each one. I'm having a guess here, but that's what it looks like. I've got two flower pods here or seed pods here. I could sow these and grow my own. But you know what? Nature's already done it for me. Have a look at all these. The seed pods have cracked open. Seeds have fallen into the ground between all this jagged rock. And these are all growing. These are little diete plants. I have got a forest of dietes growing here. So what you do, folks, is basically pull them out. Now, I'm going to pull this out. I hope I get some roots with it. Yes, I have. Look at that. That's all you need. That's one plant. Actually, there are two. <laughs> Let's go see where I've planted them. Here are some that I planted earlier under this Italian stone pine conifer. It's a beautiful tree. And these will grow in the sun or the shade. I know they, they're almost classed as a weed, folks. They multiply really quickly. And as you saw earlier, they can sprout up almost everywhere. Now, these will create a nice little soft hedge for me. You know, and if they grow too big, I can dig some out and separate them as I have already with these little ones. And this is the other area where we've got our native garden folks, all, all sorts of trees going on. These silver princess trees are struggling. I've neglected this area and I can see, oh, look, I've got to do a bit of pruning on these, clean them up. They're not growing really well. But nevertheless, I still have completed the underplanting. We had some dietes here that died off as well. Well, well, when we acquired the property, they, these were missing. We've got dietes on either side. And since then, I've dropped the irrigation. You can see that because this area was really struggling with dryness. 
Now, hopefully they come good. I haven't had the irrigation on for too long. These plants, well, the other side where there's more moisture and more protection, they're doing a lot better. But nevertheless, I'm going to give these ones a go and see what happens. And again, separation of dioides and other plants that are alike, that are self-sown in the ground. You'll find, that you'll find yourself in the garden when you find these little plants growing like that on their own, germinating. 99% of the time, they actually outperform any plant that you grow from seed yourself or you buy from a local garden centre. And that's no disrespect to the stores. The fact of the matter is that if the plant germinates on its own accord um, in an environment that you've been growing plants already previously, that will t that's an indicator that tells you the plant is quite, has adapted, uh, adopted the environment, the microclimate and the uh, soil conditions and everything that goes with it. So enjoy these little plants. You may like dioides, you may hate them, doesn't matter. For me, I've got so much land here, I can plant them anywhere I like. But for smaller spaces, obviously, if you've got perennial plants, look out for the seeds germinating on their own, and even your vegetable plants like your tomatoes, uh, silver beet, lettuce, and other, other plants alike, they'll be germinating anytime soon. It is still cold in Victoria, but other parts of Australia, I can assure you, if you pay close attention to your garden, you probably spot some little plants just like these ones popping out. Now, check out our website also for more information just like this, and our magazines packed full of great gardening tips and recipes. If you're not a VIP already, subscribe to the magazine. You'll become a VIP. You'll enjoy four issues delivered to your door and up to 60% off every day throughout the whole year on every product on our website. In the meantime, enjoy our specials that we are currently running. 65% off black grit and a secret discount, I think that's what they call it, on the website on all other products. Just check it all out. The secret code or coupon code is secret. From Eva Silly, Maresi.